What's up guys, the day has finally come where I'm gonna be replacing my circuit panel. I decided to go with running a 30 amp 240 volt circuit back here based on the overwhelming comments. That was what everyone recommended to do. So let me show you what I've got. I'm gonna be putting everything together in this video. And by the end, we can see the new panel and we'll see if everything works as planned. I ended up getting two of these trip light 30 amp PDUs. These have 16 C13 slots and four C19 slots. It doesn't have a meter on it, but I'm gonna be putting a meter in the outlet box at the wall, so that wasn't a big deal to me. But these were only like 50, $60 a pop, so I ended up getting two of them on eBay. Uh, I figure if crypto mining gets as big as I think it's going to in the next few months, that this will be a good deal. Next thing I got was 50 feet of 10-2 wire. So it's got two conductors and one ground, 10 gauge. And this will be enough for me to run one circuit from here over to the panel. And I'm gonna do that in this video. In addition to that, I printed an outlet box. First one was not deep enough, so I made it nice and deep. And then I've got my L6 30 amp plug that I've already attached to the front panel there. And my little, Duroc, however you say it, watt meter, and this will go into that window on the front. Let's get into it. I just want to give a quick disclosure. I am not an electrician, so this may or may not be to code. The reason why I'm not super upset about that is I'll likely take out this 10-2 wire I'm running whenever I move to my next house and use it wherever I plug my mining rigs there. So this is somewhat temporary. I just need to get the cables up before the electrician gets here. So yeah, I'm not an electrician. Special shout out to Sin Show Me for sending this Tech T Pro E shirt for me to use for this video. These shirts are incredibly water resistant, stain resistant, oil resistant. If you are around the house working all the time, these are great for making sure that you don't stain your clothes. As I know, my wife gets pretty annoyed with me from time to time. Sin Show Me shirts are available on Amazon and they use 100% long staple cotton, which is soft, comfortable, and breathable. Check this out. I'll have links down below to where you can find these shirts on Amazon. If you use my code, you'll get 10% off. Thanks to Sin Show Me for sponsoring this video. It's a good thing I got the 50 foot 10 2 cable because I barely had any left over. Granted, that should be enough for him to get that hooked up. All right, now we just need to start getting this end wired up and get our outlet mounted. I need to figure out where exactly I want to put that. Outlets 
Crispy look have a strip gauge on them. Tell you exactly where you need to split them. We still need to cut our strand wires for this guy to go from that wire to this. So I'm just gonna use a SATA to PCIe cable. I had to dig these things out of the trash because I had already thrown them away. <laughs> okay, now we have some wire. Take a yellow and a black one and I need to strip these. Should be long enough. Okay, it's locked in there good. Put the donut through. Watch your wires. Okay. Nice. All right, so now this needs to go. Okay, you wanna make sure these are tight. They are all tight. It's good. Now we wanna hook these two up to here. Nice and locked in there. And this one. Okay. Now we just need to put this bad boy back together. So let's screw our outlet in. There's the finished product. Got my 120 volt outlets down there and my box right here with my PDU already plugged in. Electrician should be here any minute. I wasn't able to get a ton of footage of the installation, but here's them setting up my old panel with the face taken off. As you can see, it's really old. Here they've taken the old one out, getting all the wires organized, put the new one in. And there's the finished product, it looked awesome. Got my wires running straight in. Got plenty of room for extra breakers if I decide to expand. Right here you can see is my 30 amp circuit I ran in. And we got plenty more. So I wanted to do a quick test before I switched over to 240 volts how much power I was going to save. So you can see we were at 781 watts and then switching over to the 240 volts. Got my PDU plugged in. We're down to 758 and that's about a 3% decrease in power. So across my entire farm that's pretty good numbers but not as much as i was hoping stay tuned it's getting pretty hot outside so in the next couple weeks i'll be moving the rest of my rigs down here and i'll see you guys next time peace